We both like to be center of attention. I think it's working out in our marriage. Is it? Anyways, so here's what we're gonna need. Oh my gosh, gross. I have to get me bacon now. Did you see the dog? We'll cook it, it's fine. Right. Hey guys, welcome back to the Fit Girl and the Fat Boy. We are making low carb spaghetti squash with spinach, walnuts, goat, goat cheese, cheese, bacon, and chicken. It's amazing, it's here delicious. we go. So here's what we're gonna need, spaghetti squash. I will put new bacon in here. Garlic. Walnuts. Spinach. You can also substitute this for more bacon. Uh, goat cheese. <laughs> Wine. <laughs> no, that is not really. Uh, so. Whiskey. With that said, we're going to jump straight into this. It's low carb spaghetti squash with bacon crumbles, walnuts, and goat cheese. All the things I just listed. <laughs> you can, this recipe, remember all of our recipes you can make in less than 30 minutes and they're, all, they're less than 10 ingredients. Or I should say you can make them in 30 minutes and you're going to do that. You can make them in 30 minutes and less than 10 ingredients. If he says no, it's, he's wrong. So we have a foodie here, like seriously a foodie, and then I am your registered dietitian that's gonna make sure things are clean, easy, and great for gut health. Low carb, gluten free. What if we say that we got a foodie and a registered fun killer? <laughs> you can make this recipe in five minutes if you already have some spaghetti squash cooked and the bacon cooked. And I mean that, just whip that baby up. If you don't, it's gonna take you at least about 20 more minutes. So, if you don't, while you are cooking the spaghetti squash, you're also going to cook the bacon. So, take four, well, we're gonna take five slices of bacon and cook that in a skillet on medium heat for just until cooked, until like cooked. four minutes. You can also have this recipe with chicken, like we're, we're cooking some chicken thighs in the oven, we'll show you that. You don't have to have chicken or ground meat with it, but if you do want to add that in, you can. We're going to show you how because this one says we need more meat. That's right. And then here's what you're going to do with the spaghetti squash to make it quick and easy. We do have a recipe on our YouTube that you can make this in the oven. We Super like, simple. We like rarely do that though. In the oven it takes like 45 minutes to an hour. Seriously? Delicious. <laughs> but in that um, microwave it will take about 12 to 15 minutes. So here's what you're going to do for spaghetti squash. You are going to cut it in half, slice it, Fruit. And, and then scoop it out with a spoon, scoop those seeds away, we're not going to do anything with them. Throw them away. Then to put it in the microwave, you're going to take a pan and fill it about a half inch of water and place the spaghetti squash downwards like shmow and then you're going to, that's a little, it's a little much on the water don't you think? No, it's good. And then you are going to put it in the microwave for 12 to 15 minutes until it is soft. All right, so now my favorite part, bacon and chicken. <clears throat> so for the bacon, we're gonna turn the oven on. I'm gonna go on a seven, so like medium high heat. Put the bacon on until it's cooked. I would suggest going kind of crunchy on this. You don't want it really rubbery for this particular type of meal. All right, so while Dania was off saving the world one cheeseburger at a time, making sure that people aren't enjoying their food, I'm gonna go over these chicken thighs. And here's what I've got going on. Uh, these are gonna go in the oven, 425, for 15 to 20 minutes. Be sure you're checking your temperatures. Um, I'm seasoning these with adobo, salt, pepper, fajita seasoning. Maybe it's just adobo, I haven't decided yet. Take a fork, and we're gonna scrape out these spaghetti squash. Our spaghetti squash just happens to be about three cups. So take three cups of spaghetti squash. Which is the recipe amount. And put that in there. A little garlic. And then, yep, take about three small cloves of garlic that's crushed and put that in there as well. So the good thing about spaghetti squash is it's really low carb. Um, you do need to watch the serving size, but it's a good carbohydrate that has a lot of fiber. So it helps the prebiotics in your body which helps good microbiota. It helps your gut microbiome. It helps good bacteria. 
to flourish. It helps you feel full longer. Helps you poop. It does help you poop. Helps you poop. Um, which means, the reason why is because it has lots of fiber. In our body, our gut, our intestines, our insides, we need that. And a lot of times we don't get that. So spaghetti squash is a great way to do it. You can use the spaghetti squash as um, noodles, which is what we're doing. You can eat it by itself. You, I mean, really salt and pepper and it's delicious. Yes. Tons of vitamin A, vitamin C. <laughs> so, yeah. So there's that. So now what? What's garlic good for? Keep away vampires. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's and vampires away. it's great for your heart. Mostly vampires. And immunity. Okay. Um, so cook that for a couple of minutes. So add a little bit of oil if you'd like. Now, once you put the bacon in, if you need more oil, you can add more oil, but we put about a tablespoon in. Chris, believe it or not, took out some of the bacon grease. I did. There was a lot. It also means a lot of training in marriage. So we took out some of the bacon grease, but you can leave it in there. With the spaghetti squash, if you feel like you need more olive oil, you can always add uh, one to two tablespoons of olive oil. So. But that would be if you're using like turkey bacon. Would don't be use you... turkey bacon either, because there's lots of sodium in that and nitrates and nitrites. Sorry, I cut you off. I don't know what any of those words mean. Okay. So I think we're good, yeah? So take a cup of spinach. Honestly, I'm doing a couple of cups because Chris loves more spinach. Not true. But take a cup of spinach. Okay, let's just do that. And a fourth cup, look how cute this is, of walnuts. All right, so now that the spinach, walnuts, and garlic are in, you've got to cut up the bacon. Once the bacon is cut up, this meal is basically done. You're going to take it out, put it in a bowl, salt and pepper to taste, and then top with bacon and goat cheese. So that's it. This recipe is about 250 calories per serving. So what we did was make four servings, um, only seven grams of net carbs. Perfect. Uh, enjoy. So we are tossing this with chicken thighs. They are now out of the oven. We are going to fork it, you think? I don't know what we're going to do, but it's going to be delicious. I'm going to try it. Oh yeah, Chris always has to try it. And then make sure you get that goat cheese in there. We put a little goat cheese but we're gonna sprinkle it with the goat cheese afterwards. Mm, that's really good. Really good. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, but really good. Of course. So yeah, sprinkle it with a little bit more goat cheese. Mm. Put the ground, the uh, chicken thighs, chicken breasts, um, ground, ground beef, ground beef. Preferably not turkey because gross. Disgusting. The lean white turkey is great. Ugh. You can change your taste buds. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. Subscribe for more videos. We will be posting them <laughs> weekly. Um, definitely hit that bell, bell for notifications. If you are watching this now, sorry that we have taken a month off because of our five month old baby. We are back, um, but we apologize, you know, we just did. We it know was, you were crying. It was for you, but it, I would take some time to research some recipes and get some things going. And we just got, I got a whole flux of nutrition clients. So sorry, I had to focus on that. All right, thank you guys for watching.